New reporting here, the Trump campaign advisor who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. Now we are learning his explanation for lying. Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. This campaign picture and Donald Trump's own words left no doubt that George Papadopoulos was part of the Trump foreign policy team at the table for this meeting. George Papadopoulos, excellent guy. But once Papadopoulos pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia, it was a different story from the president. I don't remember much about that meeting. It was a very unimportant meeting, took place a long time. Don't remember much about it. A presidential tweet called Papadopoulos a low-level volunteer. What Papadopoulos did was lie, and that's on him, not on the campaign. Now, a person with direct knowledge of the Russia investigation says the president's words have upset George Papadopoulos, that he was only trying to be loyal to Donald Trump when he lied to the FBI, not wanting to contradict what the president had already said about campaign contacts with Russia. It's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. Papadopoulos tried to stick to the official line, telling FBI agents that his contacts with Russia occurred before he joined the Trump campaign. That was not true. It was only after he joined the campaign that he was contacted by Russians, offering dirt on Hillary Clinton, and he tried to arrange meetings between Trump and Russian President Putin. Democrats say the president's effort to distance himself from Papadopoulos raises its own questions. You know, you're a senior foreign policy advisor uh, until you do something that exposes the connections uh, of the campaign. Brian Ross back with us here tonight. And Brian, it's important to point out that George Papadopoulos not only pleaded guilty to lying, but he's now cooperating with Robert Mueller. That's right, David. And he has been since July. It's clear the comments from the White House are not sitting well with him. And he is poised to be a key witness in this investigation, David. All right, Brian and your team, we thank you again tonight.